Hello, I'm Brandy and welcome to the Great American Stampin' Show. This is a program where every two weeks, we, my three friends and I, all get together and create a project using the same stamp set, but each kind of putting our individual styles on it. And your job is to watch all four videos and see all the fun creative ideas. And then you just pick your favorite and click like on that video. So this is my video, I'm Brandy Barnard. My friends Julie, Jody, and Shannon also have videos for you to watch. You can find the links to their videos in the description of my video. So just look down there and click on each of those links. And then just give the thumbs up to your very favorite one and we'll decide a winner from those votes. All right, let's get started. The stamp set we've been assigned this week is so refreshing. So this is a two-step stamp set. You get some outline images and some filled-in images that you layer together. And we've got some great pieces here that can be used to do greetings and different scenes. There's also a coordinating set of dies that we were able to use as well. Lots of cool pieces here that will line up and cut out some of the coordinating stamps. A really cute little picnic rug is featured in here. And each of us are going to create our best project for you. So let's see what I've got for you. I want to start with this white tag. This is the largest tag that you can cut from the tailored tags die set. And it's just got those angled corners. And I'm just going to start with my black ink pad and the little picture stamp. We're going to make a nice, refreshing drink. It's a hot summer day here in Utah where I live. And so it is time for some lemonade, limeade, strawberry limeade, something like that. So let's see. We'll start with our cute little pitcher. And then one of the greetings in this set says, thank you kindly. And I wanted to just use thank you since the width of this tag wasn't long enough for the entire thank you kindly. And so that's where my stamp and write marker comes in very handy. So the brush tip is designed to ink up a stamp and notice I'm using the side of the brush. I don't wanna go right in with the tip. That'll fray the tip. Um, I've got another tip on here down at this end that is more the writing tip so you can fill out your cards and so forth. And these awesome markers come in every single Stampin' Up! color, and I'm just using my basic black here. I'm using the side of the brush tip and getting black ink all over the words, thank you. And I'll just put that right above the picture. And now there's also a greeting here that says, time spent together is the sweetest but I just want sweetest. So I'm going to, again, ink up just the word I want. This is called omitting. You can also do two-tone, like I could come in with another color and do some of the other words. So there are a couple of fun things you can do with the markers. Right now I'm just choosing part of an image, so I'm omitting the rest. And then this is water-soluble ink, so it'll wash right off my stamp in order to be used again. I always, whenever I get a new stamp set, I look and see what words are included, not just what greetings, but what words, because I know that I like doing this technique well, where I will piece together the words that I want. So now I've got sweetest thank you. And I'm going to pour some limeade. I've been having a fabulous time with this set, so I've been making all kinds of wonderful drinks. I will show you at the end my lemonade and my strawberry lemonade after we see the limeade get made here. So I'm just going in right over the top. I've got a black outline image already stamped, so it's easy to see down through the photopolymer and just place that image right over the top. I used my oops, lemon lime twist ink to get that kind of light bright color for the limeade. All right, let's set that aside for a minute and look and see what else we've got. I've got a card base. This is the thick white cardstock. 
This piece is four and a quarter by 11, and I scored it at five and a half so that it would easily fold there at the top. And then I've got a layer here. This is Granny Apple Green, and this one is four by five and a quarter. So it'll layer right on the front here with just a little edge showing. I like to use my Seal Plus to glue the layers together. It's my very favorite paper to paper adhesive. Okay, and now I'm going to do a layer of vellum over the top just to kind of make this a layer, layer a little bit more subtle. But before I glue this down, I'm going to cut it with a die. I wanted to try out this die. It's called Dots and Spots. So it's a big old one piece die, bigger than a card front, and it just cuts a whole bunch of tiny circles out of your paper. So I'm going to lay it right on here like this. Make sure my dots and spots line up real nice. And I'm going to run it through my stamp and cut an emboss machine. And it'll cut that just with the little holes. Okay, this is what I've got now. Isn't that fun? Just got holes all over the place. So now I get just a little peek of that color through these holes. Now I know that I'll be covering up the center here with my tag and stuff. So I'm going to put a few glue dots right onto my vellum. I don't want it on the holes, of course. I want it on the parts where there are still vellum bits to hold it down. And I'm just going to put several kind of toward the center because adhesive tends to show through vellum. So I'm just finding a spot where I know it'll be covered. So I've got four glue dots. And we'll stick that down. All right, let's set that aside and come back to our little limeade. I have a couple of other pieces here. We're going to layer, this is just another tag cut from the exact same die. This is the Brights patterned paper. This is a six by six pack that has all the different Brights and you get different cute patterns in it. I'm going to use this one with the little lines and I'll just tie these two tags together using my black gingham ribbon. So fold your little bit of ribbon in half, this is just about four inches, and then take the folded part and go through the front of the hole. I don't know what this knot is called. Tell me in the comments if you know what this is called. But you just pull the ends right through that loop, and then when I pull it down, I get that just cute look. See the little line there, and I have the two ends going upward, and now these two are held together kind of like a little unit. When I stick them to my card, I'm going to kind of slide them apart like this so that they both show. So let's come back over here and do a little more stamping. I'm going to my Granny Apple Green ink now, which matches this layer here and is a little darker than the Lemon Lime Twist. I'm going to ink up my lemon image. Some of you guys might be surprised that I didn't do lemonade. I do love lemons. Even my nails are lemony looking this week. Um, and I have a lemon on my logo and everything. I have lemons in my kitchen, but I don't know. I love me some limeade too. In my family, we make the Brazilian limeade. Has anybody done that stuff? Mm. It is good. So I'm imagining Brazilian limeade right here. Okay, so I just stamped two cute little limes floating in my drink there. I'm going to come in as well with my Wink of Stella glitter brush. And I'm going to go right here. The stamp is so awesome. It's got these white marks that give it such dimension, like a glowing picture of something delicious and refreshing would look. I'm just kind of making those extra notable by putting some sparkle on top of them. Now, I don't know how easy that is to see on the video, but this has a really nice shine to it. Kind of a little glitter brush. Okay, I'm also going to add a few little gems. So this is the In Color Gem Pack, the 2022-2024 In Color Pearls. So these are technically um, Parakeet Party is the name of that color, but you know, it's all just green here. We put them here into our picture. So I'm gonna add a couple up over here. And maybe a couple here by my sentiment as well. 
Okay, so I've got my tag looking cute. I wanted to have a little bit of dimension. So here are my Stampin' Dimensionals. Like I said, I want to slide these apart so that both layers show nicely. And now I'm just going to lift the white tag and put some dimensionals between here. So I peeled that and put one there. Peeled and put one there. I also will come to the back, I'm going to put it right on the corner of my white tag there. And then when I glue this down, I'll just use Seal Plus on this tag. So the little designer paper one gets stuck directly down to the project. And then the white one has popped up. Come in with some scissors to give this a cute little cut. And there we go. We've got our little picture of Brazilian limeade ready to refresh everyone at our barbecue picnic. Now I wanted to show you guys some of my other creations too. So let's check this out. I did a lemonade. This one has these little gems that are on our online exclusives list. They're called loose frosted dots and I just glued those down with some of our Tombow multi-purpose glue. And then this paper that's on this tag here is from the Delightfully Eclectic collection that we have right now. Same with this one. Here's a little strawberry limeade. On this one, I've got the dotted layer here, sparkles underneath. So this is our shimmer paper showing through. Um, this is the Delightfully Eclectic paper as well. And then the strawberry here, this is from the die set. These have got to be the tiniest dies that I have ever used in my whole life. Look at this little green top for the strawberry. I was pretty proud of myself. I used a toothpick with the Tombow Multi Glue to get that little guy on there. And then here was my original limeade, also cute. So a couple options here with the dotted vellum or the see-through dots vellum. And then I used some different little clear sequins on this one. Also, you're probably noticing that on some of these, most of these, I did a little coloring underneath the picture and I used one of my Stampin' Blends to do that, just a really light color. I think this is the light soft sea foam, but then I didn't do that on this one. So lots of good options there for how to do some awesome, refreshing beverage drinks for your projects. Well, that was fun, you guys. Thank you for tuning in and watching and checking out the little Brazilian Limeade card. If this one's your favorite, be sure to click the thumbs up on my video. Be before you vote, make sure and go watch all of my three competitors' videos too. All of those links can be found in the description of this video. And make sure you shop the Stampin' Up! website to buy all of the products that we showed you here. Have a great day. Happy Stampin'!